All right. In this video, I'm going to um, walk through a quick back test and show you how to um, gather data based on your own strategy, whatever that strategy is, and then build the confidence you need to um, hybrid trade it, whether you know, you're using other software or using your own alerts or you have your own system. Um, it's very important to backtest and see the numbers so that you can have confidence taking that next jump shot, that next trade, irregardless of what's going on in the markets and just allow the numbers to play out. All right. Uh, so I've, I've got a pretty clean chart here and I'm going to go very basic. Um, I'm going to backtest um, cash on the 15 minute chart on gold. Um, you can back test whatever you want. I'm just walking through an example. All right. So I'm just going to turn this on real quick. I'm going to go to the 15 minute chart. And before I get into this, I want to point out that um, if you have tools that you can use, um, I'll talk about this a little later to help you filter out trades, do it. Um, I have the smart money concepts indicator um that i'll hover over this at the very end of the, just the raw back test without seeing anything so let me just get straight to the point here i'm gonna go to um the beginning of march and do march and april so we have some trades here all right so beginning of march is here and here's how you use this tool okay so you go to back tester and you make sure that you clear and uh, click reset so you can clear the clear the charts and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put an initial balance of one hundred thousand, um and i'm gonna put 0.25 percent risk per trade and because we focus on a very strict risk to reward model um, or a strict management model, at least that's what I do. You can do whatever you want. Uh, every loss will be a quarter of a percent and every trade taken that hits take profit one would be a quarter of a percent as well. So I'm gonna have to have my calculator here uh, very close to me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to multiply that quarter by whatever the um, the the take profit or the risk to reward we can get out of this. So as you can see, um, we have alerts here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start basically counting them. So this entry has a stop loss right there. And all I'm doing is I wanna see how far did this get before it either would have broken even or um, stopped out? Or if it, it went to a take profit, every every time I, I see, um, say for instance, we get to take profit two, I'm gonna count this at take, as take profit one. So I'm gonna minus one R away from this because on the trade manager, the way that I particularly use it, I trail by one level of structure. Right. Um, OK, so, for example, this trade went one point five R in profit. And I'm doing this based off of, again, this is you can use any strategy. Okay? But by backtesting it and seeing the data, you can have confidence taking your trades with no problem. Most people don't do this. And honestly, I didn't do this until I found this tool. I used to do it on notes, Evernote, but this is much, much easier to backtest. All right. So without rambling and going any, uh, any longer, I had to do that quick little intro. Basically this hit break even. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and do zero and I'm going to pre uh, define an initial, Uh, I have to set this. Sorry about that. I have to set that 100K is the balance and the first trade hit break even. Okay. Um, the next trade, 
stop loss is here. And where did we get to? So this one lost. Okay. The next trade entry stop loss here. All right. Um, price went to uh, take profit eight before it turned around uh, significantly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do seven. All right. So I'm going to do 0 0.25, 0 0.25 times seven. That's 1.75 add. Okay. Um, next trade. Right here. And we went to take profit one and then turned around. So again, break even, right? So I'm going to do zero. Add profit. This trade is a loss based on, again, just this raw back test. Um, I would not have taken this sale manually, but again, where I'm taking every, I'm just going back testing any strategy. So showing you how to properly back test every setup that you want to take based on your, your rules. And maybe, you know, if you trade moving average crosses or some people trade with the TDI or they trade with, um, all right, uh, so this went to uh, take profit six before it pulled back significantly enough. So I'm gonna do five, right? 0.25 times five. So we have 1.25 add profit, okay? Next trade, entry, we got stopped out on that trade. I'm going to add a loss. And here we lost this trade and this trade as well. So loss, loss. We look like we took um, a sell and a buy here. I'm just going to put loss, loss. I do this um, manually, I'd probably be like, look, I'm not trading anymore for the day or for the week. But this is very important. So you see the very next setup went to take profit 13, All right? So let's do 12. 0.25 times 12 equals 3% add. Um, as we can see, that's a loss right here. Another loss right here. Another loss right here. And this trade held. So we have an entry right there. Stop loss was not hit, hit, so we got to take profit. What do we get to before this pullback? Got to take profit two. So what I'm going to do is one R. So that's 0.25, and then the very next trade was a. I think that's a loss. I don't think we got to take profit one. All right. And we got to take profit one. So I consider that a loss. Um, again, this is based on how I, I trade. Every strategy is different. Your stuff is going to be completely different. And uh, here we are. We got take profit eight. All right? How far did we go? Okay, so I started pulling back here. Take profit eight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take seven. All right, so we're going to do 0.25 times seven. 1.75, add that. And another long here on this trade. 
let's say take profit 3.75 add all right got this one right here all right we got to take profit six so i'm going to do five point point two five times five all right is one point two five All right, so we got to take profit eight, seven. So we're gonna do seven. Is 1.75. And um, this trade was a loss. Sorry about that. This trade was a loss. This next one as well was a loss. And then we've got one, that went to take profit two before it pulled back to here and then dropped to this level. So we're gonna do take profit two. I'll take the three R. So take profit two gives us 50.50, all right? This next trade right here, stop loss right there, and price got to here once again. So we're gonna do 0.25 add. This trade is a loss. This trade is a loss, all right? And this one, so we're April 11th now, April 11th. All right, this trade, we got to, where is this? This is take profit 3.5 and then the price went to two. So 3.5, I'm gonna take, take profit two, 0 0.50, add um, this trade, could have broken even, I'm not sure. Possibly broke even. If we hit take profit one, that's break even. All right, did we hit take profit one before we went kaboom to the upside? Yes, we did. Trade manager definitely would have broken even on here. Add profit. All right, and then this happened afterwards. And um, I mean, if you're trading this manually, the smart money people can see that. All right, this is very, very tight, but hey, nonetheless. Okay, so we've got nothing, right? We didn't hit even hit break even, so I'm gonna uh, consider these two both as losses. Loss, loss. And uh, here we are with a trade that went to take profit one, pulled back a little bit, and then went to take profit two. I'll take the one at profit. And then uh, I think that was today, Tuesday. Um, interesting price action today, that's for sure. Yesterday was nice, but today was uh, interesting. All right, so we broke even. Okay, so um, very important. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So uh, based on all of these trades that we just kind of back tested together, I'm gonna go ahead and save this. All right, the win rate was 36%. Um, 
I only recorded 33 trades. I'm sure you can get a lot more data. A uh, hundred trades is really good to consider for uh, taking it to, to live markets. But um, I wanted to give this example. So 12 wins, 17 losses, right? Four break-even trades. Uh, with all of that data, the five consecutive losses, four consecutive wins, um, and the average risk to reward was one to four. The max drawdown was 1.24%. And the account um, based on this back test is up 9.29% uh, by now, based on these numbers, right? I can feel very confident that the next 10 uh, setups that occur for this particular strategy on this time frame, I have to take the jump shot because the math and the data says that this is profitable for for the time that I just recorded it. Okay, so let me that, let me do what I said I was going to do. I wanted to um, just re add a few a few things real quick. So I wanted to add an EMA and then show you how you can say to yourself, well, I can add filters based on whatever strategy and it will totally change everything. So I took every signal that came through here so far, but what if I said that I'm only gonna uh, take a trade if the alert happened and the candle and the candle for the alert closed above or below this black line, this EMA. And what I mean is um, for buys, since this green candle closed above the black line, as we can see, this would be valid. I can add that as a, as a rule in my plan. Okay, every one of these trades that close above the black line, that would be valid. So now when this occurs, and I'm just giving you an example based on cash, again, use your own strategy or system to to do this this trade would not have been taken into consideration at all because it didn't fit the criteria this one does right um this one does right this one does right but then let me see if i could give you another one this one fits the criteria right for a sell although we lost it it would fit the criteria if i said we're going to use this black line this moving average as a confluence that's what confluence is um stacking up your edges to create a plan let me turn that off and let me go smart money concepts real quick right so what if i were to say that um we're only going to take setups that are happening inside of say a bullish range like this like all we see is bullish so if we get a bullish alert you take it right and if you had a situation where the market was trending up and then this alert this sell alert came in you would not take it so these are just um ideas that i wanted to throw by you so that you can put together your own uh, trading plan that makes sense to you based on your personality and whatever you see that makes sense to you. Don't ever copy and paste people. Just do what uh, looks like it makes sense to you, right? Because trading, you know, as you can see, it goes two directions. You could literally have a 30% win rate on something or a 40% win rate on something or 25, depending on your risk to reward, and it can be profitable. It's that most of the time this work is not done, so we're not sure. And you know, you're not holding on to the winners and the losers are not getting cut off. Plus, more often than not, you see that fixed position size on every trade? That's the right way to do it. Some people, you know, trade different lot sizes based on how they feel. Um, me personally, I recommend just sticking to one simple thing. Like for instance, based on, let's say, again, this market structure is bullish. 
you could say to yourself, I'm only doing, I'm only taking buys based on what's going on, right? So, all right, so I, I didn't want to make this video too long, but uh, essentially, this is how you can backtest any strategy and create a plan out of it, okay? You can go and say to yourself, well, I want to take a trade every time the market pulls back, you know, 70% off of a break of structure off of just this simple indicator. So, okay, this break of structure happens. I'm going to go here. And if it comes 70%, I'm buying it. And that's, that's, that's your strategy, right? Um, whatever makes sense to you, it could be order blocks. It could be uh, fair value gaps right? We do quite a bit of, quite a bit of things, whatever makes sense to you. Okay. So I'll see you in the next video.